Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise to update the House on a series of NBN listening posts that I've been holding across my electorate in the recent months. We've got an outstanding story to tell about the rollout of superfast broadband in my electorate of Robertson, because we have more than 67,000 premises either ready for service, under construction or in the rollout plan up to December next year. And the latest three-year plan shows that the NBN is powering ahead with 9.5 million premises to either be connected or have work under construction in Australia, and certainly the electorate of Robertson is testament to that. We've shaved years off construction time while still delivering superfast broadband of at least 50 megabits per second to 90 per cent of the fixed line footprint. So to tell this story, we've been holding a series of listening posts, 22 in total, starting at Umina Beach in August earlier this year, and we're going right through until we reach Niagara Park in January. More recently, we've been at Spencer, Kingcumber, Terrigal, Bensville and Mangrove Mountain. And it's been fantastic to spend time in particular with our mangrove, mountain and districts communities west of the M1 in recent weeks and hear from local residents about what really matters to them. And I met with residents from Spencer and surrounding suburbs such as Gundaman and Wendori Park on Saturday at the Spencer Wharf. It was a beautiful day and we worked closely with the Spencer and Districts Progress Association to organise the post. And I really want to give special thanks in particular to the President, Brad Macy, Secretary Monique Lisa, Treasurer Jeanette Ray and Association member Robin Downham. Lack of communications infrastructure was a key issue that residents raised. There's either little or no mobile coverage in Spencer, I heard, and they also said there's limited access to what is pretty slow internet. I heard stories like Antonio's, a Gunderman resident who recently moved from Sydney, having lived in Lane Cove for the last 10 years. And while his family loves the country change and while he gets to work in the Sydney CBD, his job is quite flexible and it does allow him the freedom to work from home wherever he needs to. But Antonio said his family is limited to mobile 3G broadband, which he said actually doesn't work very well without an external antenna mounted on the roof of their house. And even with that antenna attached, reception is quite poor. And there's also a lack of emergency support. And this was highlighted by the storms that hit our region in April when the town of Spencer was isolated with no power, sewerage or running water. So at our listening post on Saturday, I committed to join with residents of Spencer and surrounding suburbs for a fight for better communications infrastructure for the people of this region. And the NBN co-advises that much of the region is expected to be covered by the satellite which has recently launched. And I'm pleased to see that NBN is working on having new commercial satellite services during the first half of next year after testing and trials of the satellites has been completed. Uh, and, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to continue to fight for residents of, of Spencer and districts and also in, to invite people to our listening posts in Colnura and Peach Ridge next week.